What's going on, my peoples? Uh, it's late night. I was uh actually going to maybe work on some coding called a night. I was actually done publishing for the day. Um, and then uh, stumbled upon this and just thought I'd draw. I, I, I felt like I had to uh, drop a video regarding it. Um, wow. At this point, you know, I might be wrong. Now, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I'm going to put it on the line and say I think uh, I don't think uh, Mr. Michelle is going to make it to ratification. You know, and the main reason is uh, coming from these tweets, which uh I mean, I can't even say surface. They were just in plain sight. And it kind of shows the the ineptitude of Haitian politicians, of, of, of the politicians in Haiti, that, you know, this guy wasn't vetted. Understand, the purpose, you know, this young man, he's 38, same age as me. Um, the purpose, they chose somebody so young and so unknown is because anyone else would have had, first of all, they don't want to put anyone from the opposition or from the other side in as prime minister. It seems like, you know, the pressure to get the president out, the fact that he's cited in corruption you know, it's not working for them. So they didn't want they didn't want to do that. So they had to find somebody on their side, but somebody that nobody knew. So that, you know, they could so they that they could say, hey, this is somebody nobody knows. You can't say he's he's a bracelet wolves and bracelet wolves, you know, the pink bracelets, tech collar. And I and I had one, too. So, like, I mean, I don't think that alone. There's a picture of him with a with a pink bracelet. And that doesn't, and, and you know, so people were already beginning to point at that to say, hey, he's a fanatic, a Tetkale fanatic. But even that was kind of wishy-washy, you know, because everybody had a pink bracelet back then. I had one. Um, I kind of wish I still had mine, uh, in fact, because, you know, it's a, it's a part of our history, nonetheless. But either way. Um, so they, they chose this young man, um, cause he was unknown and, uh, I mean, 38, like there are people that he's appointed to his cabinet, obviously older than him, but with much more, uh, political maturity or presence in Haiti and good too. Even, um, for example, uh, Miss Marjorie Brunash, oh, love her. She's the former consulate in uh, Boston, and uh, she's going. She will. He, uh, Mr. Michelle here, nominated her for Minister of Foreign Affairs. So she would have been a better pick for a <laughs> prime minister, you know. But they went really young. They wanted. It's clear they wanted to find somebody that was uh, unknown, but they can control. But they didn't do their homework. They didn't do their homework, you know. And this has, uh, and what's occurred now is that tweets, and these are tweets not, like, check this out. These are tweets not even from, like, you know, in the U.S., they'll always find tweets from, like, five years ago, ten years ago, and say, oh, you know, this guy had these tweets and it, it'll ruin whatever's going on for them or, or may not. These are tweets from March. Like, this is four months ago. Tweets from April. Tweets from May. It's like nobody took a look to see, you know, if this had existed. And what the content of these tweets show is that he is a super uh, fanatic. 
Understand the situation now is that they need a La Sombre, somebody who could bring the country together. That's what the president needs. Because there are even people on the president's side, President Jovenel Moise's side, that are saying, hey, um, like Yui Lato Chu, he's saying, yo, you, you, you have charges against you from a court. You need to be, you know, thinking about resigning, uh, setting up a transitional government and taking care of your business in court. Ain't even no need to be worrying about uh, establishing a government and thinking you're going to stay in office. There are even people on the president's side saying that. But let alone, they feel that there's no chance unless they're able to find, there is no chance unless they're able to find a prime minister that can uh, bring opponents to the table. And that's what they felt this unknown would do. Um, and then this pops up, some tweets, you know, where he's... Uh, Saying some very, uh, I mean, it's one thing. I mean, I don't think this particular tweet that we're looking at here is the worst. You know, he's calling people value to crack, uh, which is like saying people, they're hooligans. He's calling people hooligans in the press. Yeah, you're attacking the press. You know, that's a Tet Khaled thing that, that, you know, the quote unquote, I, you know, and I'm not saying quote unquote because they're not. I'm just saying that's what they call they they're called the democratic se sector. You know what you claim to be with the vive la democracy. A democratic se sector definitely is opposed to attacking the press, and we all know uh, Duvalieris, Ted Kale, they they love to attack the press, and, and well possibly even Lava Las, but you know, that's for another discussion um, when we talk about uh, other persons and I don't want to go off track, but yeah, so they, uh, yeah, so this is no good. This is no good. Um, and he attacks Lillian Pierre Paul and Jean Monard Matelis, calling them the Two of the biggest thugs, hooligans uh, in the Haitian press, and it's it's the wrong people to pick on. The wrong, the wrong people. Like it shows a lack of intelligence. First of all, to attack the press shows a lack of intelligence, and for anybody who's a uh, politician out there aspiring politician out there that's listening to my voice attacking the press is stupid it's a waste of time don't do it it's a waste of time that's not who you go after if you got a problem okay you only it can't get any better when you just start doing that and um that's what he's doing and not just any press these people are like I mean, Jean Monnet Matelis is, is 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 big, 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 big across the country. But Lillian Pierre Paul, she is uh uh like a monument. I've been listening to her since 2012, so it's not like you know I I grew up with her and stuff. But she's been on the radio since uh I was a baby, um as a young lady. And everybody in the country trusts her. She's like, you know, regardless of her politics, she defends whichever side is correct. And she is very fair. Jean Monat, he is very fair. I have even, I mean, even on, on both of them. Like for me, I can be, I have a way I see, a way of seeing things through the eyes of an Americanized Haitian. So I have very little tolerance for some of the things that go on in Haiti. And sometimes I even feel like these two individuals, they let more slide uh, than need be, as even as members of the press. 
but nonetheless, they are quite fair. Uh, they are quite fair, and they are monuments. And you know, he's calling them voyous. This isn't good. Um, Michel Martelli is sans doute le politicien ou l'un des actes inco. I don't know what this word means. Actually, I'm going to Google it right now. Oh, y'all. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to look this up because I don't really, I, I want to say that it means uh, someone who cannot be um, criticized. And if that's what he's saying, then, you know. So actually, I'm, I'm trying to find out what this word actually means live. So uh, let's see. Inescapable inescapable that doesn't work i don't think that's what it means let's find it okay here we go translation um cannot cannot be circumvented unmissable inescapable unavoidable yeah 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 so i i do believe it's being used in the term as saying um somebody who's uh very important to to Haitian politics. You talking about Michelle Martelli, Sweet Mickey? And I love Sweet Mickey's music. I for real. But I mean, no, he was he's not a great politician. Has never been. You know, and and I think even for persons who uh like him i think they they recognize they they any any wise person could recognize that you know so this is this is this is bad this is and and, and at the end of the day even if you agree with what he's saying even if you feel like yeah you know William Pierre Paul and Jean Monnet they why why use and Martelli is is all this and and a bag of chips and and whatnot? That's not what the country was looking for. The country was looking for somebody who could get past this crisis, which is about to really explode in a few months, when the legislature becomes dysfunctional. And you think Jovenel Moise without the cachet of a Misha uh, the cachet the charisma of a Michel Martelli could survive ruling by decree absolutely not absolutely not it, it, no so so this is a mess this is a terrible mess right now um uh, let me see he's talking about Moise Jean Charles you know people don't like Moise Jean Charles but I don't really care you know I like more MJC <sighs> So, um, and look at these dates. These dates are this year. They're just a few months ago. So, you know, it may be argued that, um, you know, like even the argument to say, oh, it's just a troll account that's not really me. That's not going to fly because nobody knew you. Nobody cared. These don't even got retweets. They don't even got likes. So like this is not this is not a troll account. Like that's gonna be very hard to say. And you know, these guys have a hold of justice, so um they might try to drag somebody. Oh, so we ha- and we and we do have a response from Lillian Pear Paul. She spoke on this today. I'm gonna play that for you guys. But um yeah, this is this is this is fascinating, fascinating stuff. This is bad. I I I wasn't I wasn't necessary. I mean, the guy was unknown, you know, but I was glad that a young person was being put there. I just was kind of sketchy about his qualifications, you know, but now this is this is bad. This is not the answer. And at this point in time, he is essentially wasting his time and wasting the country's time. Um, cause, cause this, this is not going to go, I, I, I could be wrong, but I know, I don't think I'm wrong. He is not going to pass. 
So, Mr. Fritz William Michel, um, my brother, you ought to, you know, sometimes you got to regroup, you know, and uh, take some time. I've done it before, so that's whatever. We're going to listen to Lillian Pierre Paul, uh, what she had to say today um, regarding this matter. Uh, let's play it. Juste avant nous venir à développement journal là parce que ma veulent te parler de ça bon moi même très très hésitant mais tellement de monde qui a demandé qui a voyé revoyé un tweet un inconnu que yo nommé pour venir dans poste premier ministre qui montre dans quel niveau banalisation poste sa constitution 87 la créer rivé permettre-lui pour traiter moi-même avec Jean Monard Metellus de plus grand voyou de la République. Alors que lui-même, lui fait partie totale capitale de système voyoucratia, justement, de délinquance, de méplais, dans tout sens, au propre comme au figuré. Parce que c'est des gens qui pas gagné qu'un respect pour pays, qui pas gagné qu'un respect pour peuple, volé, chaque baron qui couchait devant blanc qui a traîné et trahi histoire pays à devant blanc qui fin traité pays à de latrine de traite à la patrie qui livre pays à by gang by contrebandier by mercenaire bande sans conscience qui a joué privilège courir machine faire cortège prend petit dernier ressource peuple gain sur un dos peuple pauvre il a dansé et puis qu'a vinn traiter moun de voyou moun k'a fait travail yo moun ki a pas accompagné peuple haïtien sans que yo pa pas gagne ken privilège yo même gagne yon millénième nan privilège que yo même y a joui sou de peuple haïtien voyou ou même pas de même même dit Jean Monard ou trop pour deux moun et vous connaissez ça bral dit et bral dit pas tout même qui t'ai écrit dit ou gagne trois comptes Twitter Et où en bas, soit disant la jeunesse ou tout neuf, on plante qui comme ça. Il peut quand même bouger un peu quand fait et puis il est en pourri. Tellement ou abdit tenté, oublié, ou qui dans quel oublié mot de passe, <laughs> extrême droite, ab voyé trop monté et puis trop traité pays à de la tribu et puis même là on va pousser trop et puis gros président qui j'aime bien même pas qui te bouille pour bat sac pain quoi on sait de mon affaire à désolation n'a constaté ça de pas chita sous principe un peu nous manquer direction le vin banal tout dans politique banalisation total capital cabinet Bon, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, peut-être six bon, comme on connaît, peut-être bien quelques là dans yo, bon, qu'à compter sous mes noms, ça qui gagne notoriété, mais on connaît son cabinet comme, pas citer mon goût, parce que Catherine est devant la justice pour allemand des preuves que c'est lui-même qui trace coup de crayon ça. Mais nous, ouais, ça, c'est même gens avec tribune qui déparaît dans Miami là. Ils vont encore le sorti, cabinet ça. Majorité silencieuse. Jeunesse, dans l'âge biologique, ou bien doit jeune biologique bon. Mais on grand monde qui gagne cent ans, moi grand dame qui gagne cent ans là, t'as fait politique en Allemagne. Les pires jeunes basso. Parce que j'aime pas non, parce que j'ai 38 ans seulement. J'aime non, c'est ça, y est, ça, ouais, ça, on va vivre pour payer, parce que c'est à la ça, on va faire révolution. Mais là, quand on est en bain dans le système, extrême droite, on va défendre toutes les valeurs qui ont crasé le pays. Alors, c'est j'aime ça qui représente un espoir pour le pays. On va jouer sous code sensible, femme. Uh-huh. Et qui était de gens depuis qu'il a cette politique, non? 
Très bien. Je ne vais pas marcher. Je ne prends la donne. Je ne prends la donne. Donc, ça, c'est une façon pour faire. Si mon petit bon, et puis qu'on a tout pour nous dans une discussion, oh, il y a des femmes, il y a des garçons. C'est comme ça, il y a une politique pour valoriser les gens, pour valoriser une catégorie. Alors, on peut dire, nous, personne ne va pas côté des sorties, qui s'est fait, qui positionne, pour pas le pour le découvrir sous compte. Même Jean Arounou, qui a plusieurs organisations, font des dénoncer, tout ça, c'est qu'on écrit sur Facebook, compte fond. Vous ne pas le découvrir, tout ça, c'est qu'on écrit sur Facebook, sur Twitter. Tu vas et bien bravo, mon ne pas rien voir le pays d'Haïti tout pour nous attendre. C'est pas ça qui peut pas ou qu'a tromper peut-être pendant un temps, on sait de monde, c'est vrai. Et on a regardé ça qui a passé Porto Rico. Ça fait tout le vent campé qui est arrivé en Haïti, il pas abouti. Il faut que nous poser tête nos questions. Parce que c'est pas tout peuple là qui touché, qui motivé, mobilisé en même temps. Pour qui ça Parce que son travail peuple ça a passé. Il y a tellement de problèmes, pas d'éducation pour dire C'est éducation, il y a bali au rabais, niveau conscience, li, niveau logique, li, niveau droit, tel, tout le bagage, ça, pour la prendre, c'est la dans la vie, si il bien entouré, si il y a l'adresse pour compter pour la chercher. Donc, l'on garde tout le bagage pour le passer. Et là, la plupart du temps, nous qui t'a supposé, bah, le route, yo, même, ça fait pas, yo, seulement, après, régler, pour enrichissement personnel, ça, yo, yo, Moun qui t'a supposé guider lui, bon lui même devine tomber dans même bagarre avec you know une grain moun wap jeune qui comprend de façon totale capital ça qui a passé dans pays. C'est un tiers de population portoricain qui campé qui dit quoi faut que gouverneur démissionne parce qu'il pas respecté en tant que peuple. Pour y venir un niveau conscience comme ça aussi massive. Gain des préalables que Haïti pas rempli et puis de temps en temps parce que gain côté mon a codé et gien l'autre côté mon a décodé et mon cap décodé plus plus que mon cap codé parce que faut peut pas bénéficier bon accompagnement au niveau éducation formelle mais tout au niveau l'autre forme d'éducation et bien c'est ça qui passe la journée je dis c'est ça qui fait ti bon nom ça capable permettre dit pour la traiter même à à Jean Mona comme de monde qui c'est plus grand voyou de la république alors que nous fait partie de plus gros système voyou crassé qui j'aime gagner dans le pays d'Haïti voler chaque pas on cap craser pays pas permettre tout prendre deux mages sous chaîne nous allons développer le journal là quoi dire honey <laughs> Yo, so she went in on him, um, and really she, you, you could say she took it easy a little bit, but she definitely read him, uh, fulfilled in, in, in that, uh, in that segment. So there you have it, folks, man, a little late night audio video for you guys. Um, I do want to thank somebody, Winnie Fred Flint. Winnie Fred Flint, who uh, joined our Patreon uh, for a very generous $7 a month. Winnie Fred, I will be uh, making contact to you. And um, that's the kind of support we're looking for. Because um, I want to get this uh, studio together. I want to be able to give you guys more uh, video content. Actually go on camera. So you can see me, see how I look uh, if you would join the Patreon, you know, or make a donation. Cash App is at Samuel Maxine. Um, The Patreon is Haiti Sentinel. And um, obviously you could always send through Facebook and uh, everything is going to get equipment, put together a studio, get things right for you guys. Because by this fall. What we want to do is having some real roundtable discussions and putting things together, making things move. You know, we got a long way to go, but it's going to be fun and we're going to make things happen because we are the ones. Yeah, we are the ones we've been waiting for. You know, we got we got we got to deal with what's going on in Haiti. We got to deal with uh, 
the Dominicans. We're going to deal with our brothers and sisters all around the world, our African brothers and sisters, man. Big plans, and I want to share them all with you. I, I haven't even begun to talk, so, you know, but definitely support. You know your boy. Always here for y'all. And I'm out, and good night.